my name is Aaron and this is my assistant Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Today we are doing an experiment about static charge. What is static charge? I don't know. It is when an object gets charged with electricity, like like when you rub your hair on a balloon. But what is ha happening scientifically? First you need to learn about the atom. An atom is a group of electrons, neutrons, and protons. A electron is negatively charged. Um, a, a proton is positively charged, and and neutrons are neutral. Atoms are everywhere. The static charge is a bunch of excited atoms. When two objects are touching each other, like a balloon in my hair, electrons may move from one object to the other, leaving it, which leaves an imbalance of positive and negative charges. My experiment, the levitating orbs. When I believe if I rub my PVC pipe with my hair or wool that then then drop several tied uh, strands of mylar tinsel it would levitate because of static electricity needed for my experiment a short PVC pipe a mylar tinsel like the one you put on your Christmas tree and and Scissors and wool or or your hair. <laughs> Take six strings of mylar tinsel and tie a knot on each end. Trim the two ends of the tied mylar tinsel. A after the knot, cutting cutting off the extra mylar tinsel. Then rub the PVC pipe with either wool or your hair, which to give the pipe the pipe a negative charge. <laughs> At first, the mylar tinsel is attracted to the pipe because the mylar has a positive charge. Positive and negative attract, like two magnets. Once the mylar touches the pipe, the mylar will have a negative charge and repel away from each other, causing the mylar tinsel to levitate as an orb. But why an orb? Because mylar, because the, each mylar has a negative charge, so they also repel away from each other, causing the group of mylar tinsel to be an orb. Now, stint stint number two is gonna try the levitating orb. He's doing the spin. Levitating orb, everybody. Try it at home. 